And we find ourselves at one of the most iconic venues in world football, the Santiago Bernabeu, here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And we've got action for you from the Champions League quarter-final. It's Real Madrid, and they face Desportivo Avish. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Welcome, everybody. Quite rightly so, Real Madrid. Massive favourites for this game. You can see why, with the quality they have throughout their squad, their first-team players are better than most. But the underdog always has a chance. Over two legs, who knows what will happen. I'm really excited about this game, Derek. Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian, will be in goal. Kalidou Koulibaly plays with Raphael Varane at the back. Toni Kroos plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And in attack for this match, it's Memphis Depay. This is the initial 11 for the visitors today. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central strike will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. And now Rodrigo. Not a good pass. Oh, a lovely ball. Jota. Can he finish this? Well, it might still work out for them. Really high-class goalkeeping from Courtois. And turned out of play, so it will be a throw-in. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Bendassa. Will he find the net? He's going to be angry with himself, Lee, having failed to take that chance so early in the game. Well, the first chance of a game is important, but the first goal, sometimes it comes, you're not expecting it. Well, he's always been a terrific individual player, but Aidan Azar, very much a team man as well. Lee, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, three goals in his last three games, Derek, breeds confidence in a player. The defenders will be watching him like a hawk. Targets to aim at. Magnificent defending. Cross. They've given it away. Jota. On the tackle, Vivacious from Varane. This is Kroos, and Depay on the ball, and the emphasis is on creativity, and well, he stopped them in their tracks. Beautifully weighted ball, and the cross goes in, and it's come off the keeper! Martin Odegaard, Rodrigo. Ricardo Pereira. Bendassa. Piccini. Marusic. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Cross. And Cross failed to hold it. Jota. making 
sure that was pushed well away from danger. Give it away. Marusic. Cleared away. And now Benassa, by no means on his own here. But he has clear options in the middle. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, here's the replay. Here's the value of crosses. And when they come in like this, almost teed up on a plate, he swings his boot and it catches it absolutely perfect. What a finish. Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game. The opening goal of the game then. Hazard on the ball. And Fox really, Hazard. Bendassa. Marusic. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, he had designs on a double, but the goalkeeper wasn't having it. Well, he did better than the first time, the goalkeeper. What a save that is. Well, he knows they've missed a golden opportunity to extend the lead there, but they're still in the lead, not all doom and gloom. He's driven in the corner. Well, not quite. And very deftly cut out. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Diogo Leite. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. Well, to be candid, Aidan Azar has been a long way from his best, not really making the impact that we anticipated before a ball was kicked in angrily. Well, there can be space found out there. We've seen that, but he just can't seem to free himself from the defenders right now. His team need him to find something if they're going to turn this around. And so they kick off the second half in this Champions League quarter-final first leg. Hadji. Sergio Oliveira. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Space on the flank. He has time to play it over. Suffice it to say, his edge is blunt. Poor effort. Well, he got a lot right there, but he got one thing wrong, and that was the finish. Diogo Jota. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Tremendous intuition to win it back. Rafael Varan. Now Ricardo Pereira has it. What oh, a perfect ball now. How about this? of players waiting in the middle lack of guile with regard to that cross goalkeeper's ball Diogo Jota and breaking at pace with Menace. nothing wrong with that idea 
You've got to say it was a wonderful break, but shame about the wild attempt. Yeah, who needs a midfield when you can break like that? Superb pace. Disappointing finish, though. Substitution time it is. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. And this is Diogo Jota now. Well, that's how to do it defensively. Casemiro there. Now can they counter clinically? And Depay on the ball. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Useful looking ball. And the cross goes in. And it's come off the keeper. A really sumptuous ball. Marusic. And nobody there to pick him up in the centre. Inspirational goalkeeping from Thibaut Courtois. That's what he's there for. Keep the ball out the net. Brilliant. Piccini, Gallagher. And this is Diogo Jota now. Fine cross into the middle. Ahead. it was but a pretty straightforward save Lee. well it's an easy header Derek and he made it look really difficult Marco Reis Reis wasteful in possession Reis chance maybe from the wide position teammates in the middle oh he's found the net and that increases the advantage to two just what they wanted and just what they deserve well here's the replay here's the value of crosses and when they come in like this almost teed up on a plate he swings his boot at it catches it absolutely perfect what a finish Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. Well, a second goal for them here. Ten minutes left for play in this match. The ball with Marco Reus. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Gallagher. And now Benasser. Piccini. And providing width. Marusic. Royce. Now Casemiro. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. And not one, but two substitutions here for Real Madrid. Geraldes. Given away. Aiden Azar. Well, it was a very good-looking move, but alas, no end product. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And up for grabs off the keeper. 
And the referee blows his whistle. That is the end of the contest. And a fine result for the away fans. And if they can repeat this sort of performance on home soil, then they will surely be going through. Yes, Derek, we're expecting a tight, tight game. That's what we got. But can they keep that advantage going into the second leg? It should be a cracker. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And it's a quarter-final second leg battle in the UEFA Champions League. It's Desportivo Avish taking on Real Madrid. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Real Madrid with plenty of work to do after that first leg. This could go either way, it really could. Getting the opener tonight could decide the tie for me.
this is the lineup for the home team. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. The back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Gallagher. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Casemiro. And now Rodrigo. It's with Erdogan. But he was in the right place to intercept. Always dip. He's got the right idea with that pass. Aiden Azar waiting to pounce. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Luis Lopez. An unforced error, you've got to say. Real Madrid moving the ball with purpose. What can they do from this position? Must score! And he scores! Oh, this is so finely balanced now. They've got themselves a goal, but need another one to send this match into extra time. Well, here it is again, Derek. And when the ball goes in wide areas, sometimes defenders struggle to stop the crosses. They did on that occasion, and in the end, it's poor defending, but the ball's ended up in the back of the net. So the aggregate score currently stands at 2-1. An important interception. He continues to make hay. It's a cross towards the near post. It comes to absolutely nothing. Now Casemiro. Casemiro lost the ball. By no means on his own here. Dangerous looking attack and making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. And over comes the corner. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. This is Varan. Course. Oh, pass. Azar ready to take it on. Straight forward for the keeper. Gallagher. Intelligent threaded pass here. And a fine stop. Now Casemiro. Hazard. I must say, no shortage of space. Hernandez. A move of promise on the flank. And there's the feed into the box. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Oh, a lovely ball. He continues his run. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Couldn't hang on to it. Beautifully disguised ball. And cleared away. The referee has, indicated there will be the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. That is that for the first half here.
second and decisive leg of this Champions League quarter-final and the second half begins Kroos Hazard Hazard and that was a very fine read Martin Odegaard Ricardo Pereira and well, they want that equaliser but the passing remains smooth Memphis Depay and a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there yeah weak shot straight at him no problem for the goalie now with it Piccini and attempting the through ball has teammates waiting inside the area oh he's found the net and that increases the advantage to two just what they wanted and just what they deserve well sometimes goals happen on the training ground before the game I'm sure they practice this great movement great cross perfect goal Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. On aggregate, it's three goals to one. Depay. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Now Casemiro. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Crossing possibilities. And now Memphis Depay! Suffice it to say, his edge is blunt. Poor effort. Well, he got a lot right there, but he got one thing wrong, and that was the finish. Gallagher and showing fine vision and no accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed well it's the care and attention all that work to get in the position and then way way wide substitution time it is This is Varane. Now Ricardo Pereira has it. An important interception. Well, a small victory for the defender against Azar. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Gallagher. Breaking at pace. End product or not. Well, that break looks so promising, but nothing coming from it. Course. Hazard, Mendy, and the pie on the ball. Passing it with a bit of panache. Ricardo Pereira. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman.
Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Dangerous looking through ball. You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, speculative. Worth an effort. Two goals down, why not? Very good use of advantage there. by the official letting the play carry on and then only subsequently handing out the yellow card yeah absolutely and that's what the fans want they want to see the game going on they don't want to see it stopped for something like that you can always go back and book the player later inside the final five minutes now Gliding through the gears. Extremely sloppy in possession. Mendy. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. An awful lot of green space to run into. Wonderful block. A chance to whip it in. Thumps clear. And that is all the final whistle has sounded. And that makes it official. They're through to the next round. Well, it's been a cracking tie, and they probably deserve to go through with the football they played over the two legs. They'll be growing in confidence now, though. Just wonder how far this team can go. Madrid moving the ball with purpose.